Hello friends, for the first time scientists have calculated the speed of gravity. The groundbreaking experiment shows that the gravity travels at the speed of light as predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity. This means that gravity takes time to travel and show its effect on an object. So the influence of gravity is not instantaneous as thought by Sir Isaac Newton. But what we mean by the speed of gravity? We know that the light coming from sun takes nearly 8.3 minutes to reach to the earth. And now after this experiment, we also know that the speed of gravity is equal to the speed of light. So if the sun disappeared from its place, then the earth would remain in its orbit for nearly 8.3 minutes and then suddenly it would be free from the sun's gravity. The measurement of gravity was made by Edward Fumelant of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Charlottesville, Virginia, and Sergei Kopeikin of the University of Missouri in Columbia. Kopeikin rearranged the equations of general relativity and expressed the moving body's gravitational field in terms of its velocity, mass, and the speed of gravity. Formulant and Copaikin chose the largest planet of our solar system, the Jupiter, for their study. So now they had the task to measure the Jupiter's gravitational field, as they already knew its mass and velocity. Because after knowing these three parameters, it was very easy to find the fourth unknown parameter, the speed of gravity, just by rearranging the equations of uh, Einstein's theory of general relativity. So let's now understand how they managed to find the gravitational field of Jupiter. But before discussing this experiment, let me tell you that gravity has the potential to distort the fabric of space and time. So when any electromagnetic wave like uh, radio wave or light wave passes near any massive heavy object having immense gravity, then that object bends the path of the wave as the space itself gets distorted. In September 2002, the planet Jupiter passed in front of a quasar that emits radio waves. So it was a great opportunity for Formulant and Copacan to measure the gravitational field of planet Jupiter. With the help of radio telescope, they measured the apparent change in the quasar's position because the gravity of the massive planet Jupiter caused the bending of passing radio waves as it bent the fabric of space-time. And then, with the help of equations of general relativity, they calculated the speed of gravity and they found that it was equal to the speed of light. So friends, if you found the video interesting and useful, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.